How will you play your part? Make your declaration now. Join us on Facebook. All right, Curtis, first things first, is your third appearance. Have a hat yeah. to the ball. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. Good to, it's been been too long, I think. Yeah. Well, congratulations again. <laughs> right, Birmingham fans are here today. Uh, they're going to Wembley. You're not playing. Um, you're cup tied. How, yep. how do you feel about that? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> no, just guide really. To be honest, um, I think. The, well, the thing is, the lads are the ones that got themselves there. Really, um, I signed off. They'd already been in the final. But the first thing I got was about 100 texts saying, "Oh yeah." Nice little cup final for you to slot into, and I had to break the news that I was uh, cup tied, oh, and uh, just people just rubbed it in. So, because this should have been your fifth Wembley appearance, potentially, yeah. Yeah, but you've never played. No. Right, talk, talk us to it. Uh, the first one was England under 21s. Yeah, I basically I broke my foot. Um, the, s the second time I broke my foot, it was the day before my birthday, and England under 21s had the first game at the new Wembley um, about a week later, so I and missed that game, squads, and then. Um, I missed that game, then that built into the playoff final of that year. That's right. Um, we lost to Derby, and then two Villa appearances last year um, in yes. the semi final FA Cup, Carling Cup final. So this would have potentially been the fifth time, but. Uh, oh, Curtis! It'll so happen one it. day. Yeah, well, let's hope so. One day. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you said, you, so, you, you, know, you signed at the end of deadline day, so you've not been there long, but have you settled in? Yeah, it's good there, because um, uh, luckily a few of the lads I've played with, about six of them, I think, and um, I think when you've been playing this long now and getting old, um, oh. That I've played against a lot of them, so it's just easy to slot in, really, and uh, they're all good lads, to be fair. Okay, and you were told that you went for 1.5 million, yeah. which you said was a bargain. Yeah. Now, the, <laughs> the papers reported <laughs> it. The thing is, we, we had that it, you went for 3.5 million, oh. so is that still a bargain? Um, only time will tell, I guess, <laughs> but no, I'd, 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 I'd hope so because. Um, if you're comparing it to when I left um, Luton to go to West Brom, yes. I played, I think, uh, about 50 league games in League One. And, and, how and much I, I, I cost three million yeah. then. So, um, and then when you moved I'd like from to West Brom to Villa, yeah. you were worth? Uh, I think it was undisclosed. Yeah. What does that mean? Eight million. Eight! eight. Oh! Eight! Yeah. Does it make any difference? Do you, do you sort of feel any different when you go for that amount of money? Not particularly. Um, it's only obviously when you've got big, big. Like like nowadays, especially when when you've got like Torres with fifty million on his head, stuff like that, then people are going to expect a lot from you. But, but, um, but I mean, obviously, from outside we expect a lot from Torres. But will the Chelsea players think expect more because he's cost? 50 I don't million? think the Chelsea players will think anything of it because the end of the day is Fernando Torres, so they'll think he's a good player. We want more from him because he's Torres, whether it costs three million or costs fifty million. Um, but I, don't, I wasn't really bothered by it because that's just between the clubs. They get the money, not me. So um, I just enjoy my football. Um, you signed for Birmingham from Villa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was it awkward going from Villa to Birmingham? No. Not at all? Not, not a second fault, to be honest, because um, I'd not played a league game for Villa for 18 months. So, like, I'd not, I can't lie, I enjoyed my time when I was playing, um, but then I was just um, out in the cold. So it's either I sit there and, and do nothing for, for the rest of my contract or I join a club like Blues and hopefully I've got, got a chance of playing. So, so the, fans are cool, the fans are cool with it, I guess? Um, I've, had animosity from I've, I've had Villa fans come up to me and say, well, fair play to you because it, you had to go and try and play football and it's just one of the things that, whether it had been Blues or whether it had been anyone else, it's just another team to move to. It wasn't, I wasn't really thinking about the, the rivalry, really. You've, all, you've been very honest about leaving Villa yeah. as well. Um, and you have said that you were glad to see Martin O'Neill go. Is that yeah. just personal, though, because you think that he didn't give you a chance? I, I was never quoted saying that. They, people, people, was, people. When Says it on paper. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, when when we um, when I pulled up outside the the Villa training ground, um, I was asked, "Are we glad to see Martin O'Neill go?" I've been told a lot of players, and I said, "No, that's a bit harsh to say that." But I think, um, like, because I was sort of like, I was overly talking talking about things. They must have thought, yeah. well, I was, but um, it wasn't really like that. It was just a case that I just thought, not so much because him as a man, but more I just thought I'd get a fresh chance, basically. Yeah. Um, so, but obviously that didn't really work out anyway. So, did you make a difference? And not nothing matter. changed. Back to the final. <laughs> we were fascinated by this. You, you're going to be at Wembley, but you can't go into the dressing room because there's like a allocation. Or yeah, I think um, basically it's um, last in, uh, don't get the ticket basically. But um, no, we, we so you can't just wander down and hang around. I don't, I don't, I, at the moment, I don't think I don't think we can because I think um, basically there's only a certain amount that you can have on the 
in behind the bench and then the areas there's about five seats you can sneak in after i'd like to win, think so you? but it's just it's, so hang it's on, where are you actually watching the game from at the moment i'm um, i'm watching it from club wembley seats right so just general normal just um our family yeah because okay. these are these are tickets with my friend uh, friends and families but um it's one of the things like i'll just just see hopefully because it's, it's awkward because obviously if we go on and win it and i can't get down and not that i'm going to be jumping up and down with the champagne because i've not done anything but i mean to to say well done to the lads yeah. um it'll be a shame really oh, if not we'll just there. celebrate after hopefully. <laughs> right come on let's pin you down for a prediction even though whatever you say you're going to get both booed and cheered mm. uh so come on, what do you think the score is going to be tomorrow at wembley for the carling cup final i have to say it's going to be a blues um one nil win <laughs> 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 Curtis Davis, everybody. Oh, <laughs>